can we have proximal yes. to uh, bracket, uh, proximal to mineral, okay? And this type of uh, using drug medium, you also get some drug, okay? Yes, the drug, okay? Mm. So this drug is not proximal to have mineral, okay? Bracket is not have mineral, so you can see this is the bracket, and also get the drug region also in here, okay? So there is a uh, drug region, there is a no mineral, but in the in this time, for the bright region, possible to have mineral. Okay. Mm. So it also we can get the result look like that in this time for this region, and also you can see in this paper, um, they are mentioned about the color. When you just translation R I, your rock index multiply with hundred, mm. but addition with hundred. Okay. So it it means that. Mineral class could be highlighted by translation just for this index at the hundred. Okay, so we just set the at hundred with the index. How we can do that? You can see. So I simply add that. So for that, what can I do? So this is my RI. Okay, this is my RI. It is, I apply the formula. I can get the mm -hmm. RI. With this yes. RI, what can I do? I just add. Number hundred. Okay. Hmm. That's why I add the dot number is hundred. So now click the run. This is what happened. Okay. Why? Okay. This time, I just simply click on here and stress it, which is such as 98 percent, or better reflection of R I index, and apply mm -hmm. it. Now let's change what happened. Mm -hmm. We can get. This time we can get even better. You can see the bright. Mm -hmm. Bright means that. Available to mineral. Rock, yes. Okay. Available to mineral. Maybe rock is the rock uh, available in the mineral. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Rock yeah. Rock. Mineral uh, rock composed of many minerals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. So you can see here we can get the result look like that. Mm. And then yes. In this time, mm. if we add the color, so how I can do that? Or oh, adding the color, you can see. Uh, the result rock index is uh, we can get the okay we got multiply the hundred and yeah. our index such as yolo for gold ah. and for iron hello suppose so, uh, you want to identify the gold region or gold this type of mineral then ah. you just apply it and you uh, yolo for gold and red for iron so you just simply mm -hmm. get the yolo and red and then find out about this what happened region. Yes. Okay. Just put it at the yolo. Hmm. And for iron, I put it at the red. Red. Now we do that. Ah, map add layer. You you run before. Okay, it will be just. Yeah, 
only for that. Yes. No, there is a gold, but sometimes uh, gold fine within the, the iron oxide, the iron cup, something uh, called gossans. Yes, yes. This is a good result from my view. Yes, because this uh, region is full of gold. Yeah, yeah. so you can see here. So now yes. in this time we can get the yellow. So in this time we can get yeah. gold mineral about that. Yes. And this is the red and iron oxide. Yes. Yeah. How can I How save can this result? How can it the so both both and this? this? Okay. Mm -hmm. For that, you can simply import that. You can see import button. Mm -hmm. Import. Click the import. Ah. And now it will be added a new line of code in here. You can see uh, in here. So this is that. Simply copy. Copy and paste. After that. All of the things remove and paste in here. Okay. Just paste. And now we will run this visualization is set mm. with my code. Now it will be doing automatically. Uh, you will add it. Also make the map about that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Also, we can we can go deep in interpretation. Uh, the the rich yellow. This is it is a gold gold zoom, and uh, gradation of color. Yeah, maybe maybe anomalies is low, but in uh, uh, deep deep yellow, it is a. Uh, Good area for uh, gold. Yes. It's selected gold yes. on. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So basically, this is the process when you mainly when you want to do for the gold exploration yes. for the gold region. And now, yeah. uh, from the satellite images, so now uh, people who are collecting the gold of this type of work, they can simply go to this location. If this evidence, you can also get the specific location about that. Suppose I click yes. on here, I click on here, I can get the nature tab. I can get the specific coordinate in here. You can see this is the specific coordinate in here. Mm. Okay. Yes. Now I can go to this. Uh, use my GPS and go to this mm. coordinate and find out the. Yeah. Point. Yes. So basically, this is the another approach using the remote sensing for identify the gold, uh, gold, mm. uh, this type of mineral we can easily identify. Okay. And yes. this side we can easily identify. This is that region of iron oxide. Yes. So iron oxide means that. Different types of rock create a hill yeah. region or hill. So this type of iron oxide we can. Mm, yes, uh, teacher, what's your specialization? You you uh, you agriculture or what? Your specialization. Okay. So basically, I am the uh, GIS and remote sensing expert, and I work for the mm. geospatial analysis and also remote sensing. And all of these the Google Earth engine platform. Okay. And also different types of analysis I can do uh, mm -hmm. as a uh, researcher, as a student. I also about that. So this is basically yeah. I'm trying to find out the something new things or new technology for remote sensing and spread this knowledge yeah. over worldwide. Yes, yes. Maybe, maybe I work for further for you. Now I join the uh, company. I work with company here in. Uh, so the Arabia uh, deal with uh, gold exploration called uh, gold refinery company. Uh, if I join this company, yes, yes, uh, and also I will need you to work with me in uh, my research in uh, BHD. I will I will make uh, a new agreement after I finish course, inshallah. We'll, yes, yes, yes. We'll go, we'll work together, inshallah. Okay, so now we can get this result look like that. In this time, yeah. we can also do put a lot of analysis in this time. Suppose yeah. uh, in this time we can easily export this map. Okay, we can easily export this map uh, in uh, Google Earth platform. Suppose in this time, uh, I can uh, take only for the gold region. Okay, 
I don't mm. refer to our region. Okay. So I will yeah. simply uh, um, use this whole region mm. and then mm. make a shape file of the whole region. Okay? Yes. Make a polygon. Make a polygon. Okay. Make a yeah. polygon. Like classification. Yeah, classification. Yeah, good. So now in this time we can make the classification and just take mm. only for the whole region. And this gold region we can make as a polygon or areas. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Suppose I can go in here with my GPS and then using this polygon, I just use the polygon for the yellow color and then try to mm -hmm. find out the gold in this region. Is it available? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go how we can easily make the polygon for this of bright yellow, um, yellow color region. Deep yellow. Okay. Yes. Deep yellow. Yeah. So let's that is we have to use the max function. Mm. Okay. Max, we need to use that the max. And you can change the value about the pixel value for the bright gold. Let's check mm. it. What is the click on here? And in this time we can use it as the sentinel imagery. So we land the imagery. But when you are also using the sentinel imagery, mm. then you can also get the better map or better accuracy map. Mm. Okay? Because sentinel image is the only for the 10 meter resolution. And in this time we can create the map in half yes. meter resolution. Okay? So that's why we yeah. can use yeah. the high resolution, then we can get the high accuracy. Yes, yes. Also in Aster, you see a uh, short wave of uh, in Aster, because uh, uh, in uh, geological and mineral, mineral exploration, uh, mainly if we want to uh, define the operation zone uh, of gold or other minerals, we work uh, with Aster. It is better. We recommend it to work in this, yes. So in this case, I can get this picture where we can see uh, for the mm. bright region, for the bright yellow color region. Mm. I can get the 100 0.4. Mm. Exactly like I So, in this time, I will simply use the max function. How I can use it, you can see. So, just I simply use the threshold. What is the threshold? Threshold. Mm. Mainly it can be defined as the range of pixel value. Range for finite depth. Range for is a uh, pixel range. Okay. Suppose it is time 100.4. Get at the 100.4. I take for whole region. Get at the 100.4 or get at the 100.1. Okay, so I think about all of those things will be gold. Okay. Again, suppose I can get this. Sorry, sorry, there is a uh, noise in outside. Okay, now it's okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay, in this time, I make a threshold. Threshold is a pixel range. Okay, so I will mm. use the pixel range and classify it. Okay, I make a pixel range and classify A. So, how I can do that? Mm. So, I need to check about if the pixel value is that. I can get the pixel value 100.06. Okay, so I choose it. Suppose uh, I choose it. Suppose R I greater than R I greater than okay greater than 100.01. Okay, R I greater than 100.01. All of this pixel value I consider as a gold region. Okay. Mm. Suppose 
he can also put that as a post uh, uh, 100 to he can also check it how, how much season you can get in this time I put at the uh, other index get at that 100.01 pixel value all of those mm -hmm. pixel level I consider as a gold region mm. okay so now I use this thing all the greater than yes yes yeah, greater than all of those greater mm -hmm. than pixel level will be So what, what can I do? I can simply take a variable. Suppose I put the variable name is that. Suppose uh, gold area. Okay, you can use any name. Gold area, I can use that. And then call this. I simply call this thing from here. And copy that. It is the like in my head. Okay, I simply copy. Okay. Yes. So after that, what can I do? I just simply put here greater than or equal. So ZT means greater than. ZTE means greater than equal. Okay. So I put here the greater than equal. Okay. So greater than equal 100.01. All of those pixels will consider as a gold region. Okay. Just put here. Okay. 0.01.